Hello everyone, so let's explore what are main Slack roles and permissions. So first of all, there are differentiations. So for free, standard and plus plans, the most common plans in Slack, uh, you have some kind of roles and there are different roles for enterprise plans. So let's just go through standard uh, roles. So there are three types of uh, administrative roles. First of all, it's like workspace primary owner. It's like the first uh, single primary owner who holds the highest level of permissions. Uh, only this person can delete the workspace or transfer ownership to someone else. Then there are multiple workspace owners, uh, but they just can't delete or transfer the, or transfer the ownership of work workspace. And there are also workspace admins. They can help manage members, channels and their administrative tasks. So these are basically most important, important administrative roles. Also, there are like just standard roles such as members, uh, the people who join your Slack workspace. Also, there are guests, uh, people who join workspace, uh, they have limited access. And there are single channel guests, for example, which can just use one channel or multi-channel guests who can use specific channels. Uh, and these uh, people can only collaborate with the members they share channels with. So guests, for example, this can be freelancers. So if, if you run a company and you have invited a few like freelancers, but you don't want to give them access to the whole Slack, you can just invite them to like a few channels or just one channel and you have just DM messages to collaborate with them. So in my experience, that is the best, the best way to work with freelancers. Also, there are invited members. Uh, they have been invited to your workspace but have not accepted their invitation. So that's about it. Let's look at our permissions in Slack. So here are basic permissions on a Slack workspace. Here you can see available by default. Uh, and then this one is available if workspace owner changes the default setting. And this star means that only available if uh, for workspace primary owner. So basically here to join channel, send messages, upload files, uh, it's available for everyone, but delete your own messages as a member of Slack, you can only do it if admin changed uh, permissions. Also then channel management. So as you can see here, member has much less rights. So create a shared channel, you can't do it as a member. Also, you can't create a private shared channel. You can't make public channel private. You can't rename a channel, you can't delete. You can set a channel retention. And then you can uh, set a private channel retention only if there is uh, an admission from admin. Then there is notification. Uh, user groups, you can't uh, mention user groups by default, but it can be changed. Workspace management, here you have it. Then workspace settings. In the workspace settings, you see that even uh, workspace admins have no that many rights. And only workspace primary owner can transfer primary ownership or delete workspace. Add apps and integrations. Every member in Slack can add apps and integrations. So there you have it, guys. Uh, I think it might be helpful for you, especially for new Slack users or people who just start to use Slack in their or company or organization. So please subscribe to this channel for additional tips about everyday software and put a like if you liked this video or uh, some question in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.